the first thing I did is, first thing I told you guys to do was simplify by applying your operations. Right? Last problem we did, there's no operations. It was, we basically just used the identities. In this one, we have an operation we can apply. We can multiply by applying distributive property, correct? So first thing you should always do is apply operation. So when doing that, done. Okay. Now there's no squared that's going on. So I'm not going to use my Pythagorean identities. Um, I don't have any co-function or even auto identities going on. So one of the best identities to use is your quotient and your reciprocal identities. And one of the tips that I recommend you guys do is if you ever get stuck, convert everything to sines and cosines. And I actually didn't write that up there, which would be a good thing. So if you ever get stuck, a good thing to always do is write everything in terms of sines and cosines, which is basically doing the reciprocal and quotient identities. So sine is already written like that. Tangent is sine of x over cosine of x plus um, sine of x times cotangent of x, which is cosine of x over sine of x. Does everybody see that? Did I write this problem? Which one was this? Tangent plus cotangent. Okay. Does everybody see that? Now, here, I, when I multiply across, I have sine squared of x over cosine of x plus cosine of x over 1. Well, I can't add these two. They're not like, num they're not like terms. You can't add sine of x tangent of x plus sine of x. That's like adding x plus y. You can't like combine them. These are totally different. I didn't cross multiply. I, that's in the numerator, that's in the denominator. So they divide to 1, right? So over here, sine of x times sine of x is sine squared of x. 1 times cosine is cosine. Here, you can't do sine of x times cosine of x. It's just sine of x times cosine of x. But if you're dividing by sine, those divide out. Now, I still want to combine these, right? Remember, we're trying to get these down. And that's your thing. You can't, you're trying to add them. You're trying to get them to a single expression. You can't add these. You can't, they're not, that's like saying x plus y is something. No, x plus y is just x plus y. You can't do anything else with that. You can't add these. They're not exactly the same. If they were exactly the same, you could say, you know, there's two of them, like two, but they're not exactly the same. So I rewrote them in terms of sines and cosines. Now, can I still add them? Can I add them right now? No. However, what do I need to do to make sure I can add them? I just need to have the same denominator. So I'll multiply by cosine of x on the top and the bottom. Now I have sine squared of x plus cosine squared of x all over the common denominator of cosine of x. Do you guys agree with me? I'm kind of skipping a little steps here. That becomes cosine squared. Sine squared of x over cosine plus cosine squared of x over cosine. You just add the numerators, keep the denominator exactly the same. Now, what's sine squared plus cosine squared? Secant of x. 